a very somber feeling after what has been a very chaotic Bahrain Grand Prix 2020. First things first, let's acknowledge the Formula 1 authorities and the FIA for in stating the kind of safety rules that they do in this sport because there is no doubting about the fact that each and every driver that takes part in this uh, sport risks their lives time and again and Formula 1 has now developed to that stage where each and every driver has the necessary safety equipment around him to get out of uh, horrendous situations. Romain Grosjean was involved in a very bad accident on lap 1 of this race as the lights went out and away they went from the start uh, finish straight at the turn 3 mark Romain Grosjean cut across from the left hand side of the track hit Daniel Kvyat who was on the right he did not know I'm assuming he did not know that Kvyat was right uh, beside him and he hit him and plummeted into the uh, barriers now because this was a straight and not a turn usually on the turnings uh, of any racetrack in formula one you have the big tire barriers which prevent the car from having a very big blowout but because this was a straight after turn three the barriers on the side were not the tire barriers there were steel barriers he hit uh, those barriers at a very big impact his car split into two and there were a lot of flames as well thankfully the marshals were there to recover uh, get him out of the car as soon as they could and he is now recovering he is in the hospital he was choppered there straight from the track he has maybe a few uh, cracked ribs and some minor burns but he has posted a video on his uh, social media platform saying that he's recovering and he's fine and he seems in good spirits that is one of the most uh, important things coming out of this race irrespective of what the result is what has happened in the race and whatnot it the most important thing is that roman grosjean is safe and he is recovering now uh, let's now recap what exactly happened in the uh, race after this uh, incident the race was red flagged and everyone head back to the pits it was a one and a half hour delay everyone uh, was in the pit lane the drivers the cars everyone were was in the pit lane and the uh, marshals repaired the barriers that were broken because of this big crash after one and a half hours of waiting the race again got underway from a starting start a standing start from uh, the grid now in the first start that had happened before this big crash Valtteri Bottas had had the worst of starts to this particular race again he had dropped from P2 on the grid all the way back to P8 but because uh, at the end of the second safety car line he was only p4 when the crash happened he returned to that position at the second re uh, restart of the race now uh, lewis hamilton was on pole max verstappen uh, was in p3 initially but in the second restart was elevated to p2 sergio perez in p3 the, re the race got underway again and this time around it only lasted for another eight corners before uh, Daniel Kvyat and Lance Stroll had a dangling and Lance Stroll uh, car Lance Stroll's car flipped thankfully he also got out but it was the end of his race as well safety car came out it wasn't a red flag this time around safety car came out uh, it went around for a few laps before uh, the race went going again it was only until lap 8 for the first 8 laps there was no uh, complete racing lap that had been done at the circuit up and until that point but uh, after the safety car went in in lap 8 the race restarted again and Lewis Hamilton in P1 uh, Max Verstappen in P2 Sergio Perez in P3 Valtteri Bottas had fallen uh, down the grid because of a puncture that he had had because of picking up some debris from the first crash of uh, uh, Roman Grosjean, Grosjean so he had fallen back towards the back of the pack and he was now in recovery mode nothing much exciting apart from uh, 
the midfield battle happened in this particular race. It was Hamilton's race to lose. He was comfortably leading uh, Verstappen, who was in P2, who was trying to do something different, but it wasn't really working out for him. He tried different tyres, he tried a different strategy, but Lewis was completely in uh, command of this race. Sergio Perez was in P3. He was looking set to finish uh, on the podium for the second consecutive race. But unfortunately, with three laps to go, his car blew out. It was a mechanical failure. It was a uh, power unit failure. There was puffs of smoke coming out of his car uh, towards the back straight and he had to retire from the race. Alex Albon got elevated to P3 to, uh, to win his third, to win his second uh, podium in this season and in his career. Many would say that Albon has sort of now cemented his place in uh, the side. Not so much for his performance this year, but more because Red Bull want to keep a sense of con continuity in the team and uh, Albon has been with the team for one and a half years now, so it is more likely that he is set to continue. Now, Sergio Perez retiring, Lance Stroll retiring meant that Racing Point did not gain any points from this particular race. Now, this had a big implication on uh, the constructor championship because Racing Point, uh, coming into this race, Racing Point led uh, McLaren who led Renault by a very fine few uh, points but because Racing Point did not score any uh, in this particular race and the McLaren of Lando Norris and Carlos Sainz uh, finished in P4 and P5 respectively, McLaren have now overtaken Racing Point in the constructor standings and Renault also scored decent points with both uh, Daniel Ricciardo and Esteban Ocon finishing in the points. Valtteri Bottas, after a recovery drive, uh, finished in P8 with uh, Sebastian, sorry, uh, Charles Leclerc of uh, Ferrari finishing in the last points position in P10. Now, just to you know, uh, talk about, talk a little about why the constructor positions are so important why there is a fight going on between Racing Point McLaren and Renault for that coveted third finishing uh, third spot in the constructor standings it is because the money that is distributed amongst the teams for the upcoming season is based upon your last season's uh, constructor standing so whereas Mercedes have locked down P1 Red Bull are set in P2 P3 P4 and P5 are, are all up for grabs and there is approximately a 10 million uh, euros difference between P3 and P4 in the constructor standings which is why these teams are fighting it out so that they get their hands on that money and can get to be more competitive uh, next uh, year. Alright, so this was the race from uh, Bahrain, the first of the two races that is set to happen on this track. We'll be back again next weekend with for the second race set to happen at the Sakhir uh, International Circuit. For now, let's uh, just appreciate everything that uh, the FIA has done to provide the safety to the drivers and let's just thank our uh, stars that Lance Stroll and Roman Grosjean got out of their respective accidents unscathed and let's show a little respect to all these drivers who put in their lives time and again when they get into these cars because they travel at a magnificent high speed which can go wrong at times and thankfully it hasn't and uh, Romain Grosjean and Lance Roll are fine. We'll be back uh, next weekend with another race from Formula 1.